Well, good evening and welcome to Lord of, Lord of Hill TV. Yes, welcome to Lord of Hill TV, hosted by myself, Melissa Jane. We are going to be talking with Elizabeth Burns tonight, and she is the founder, I would guess, the founder, the CEO of the Caribbean Cultural Heritage Awards. And we're going to be talking all about that today. So before we get into it, let us go ahead and share. And while we're doing that, we're just going to play a little bit of music. So I hope you're having a wonderful day so far today. We're going to have her coming up in just a little while and um, get into tonight's show. All right. So don't go too far. Please go ahead and share, comment. Hey, Selena, welcome to the show. Let us go ahead and hear a little bit of music while we do go ahead and share the post. All right, let's go. Okay. Hey. And how are you, Selena? Are you back in Atlanta now or are you back in the UK? Where are you in the world, Miss Traveling Lady? <laughs> All right. That's right. We're doing a, a little bit of an early show. A little bit of an early show tonight. And then we're going to come back and do a, a later show at 8 o'clock. So we're going to start with 7.30 with Elizabeth Burns. And we're going to come back. Oh, back in Florida, Selena. We're going to come back at 8 o'clock for the second half of the show. It's going to be good. All right. Just got to send out a few messages. Come on in. Get your, get your snacks. Get your drinks. Starting now is my message out to my WhatsApp family. Let's go ahead and... Uh, can you hear the music all right? Is it too loud? Is it too loud? Is it too quiet? Let's have that on repeat. Yeah, here we go. On repeat. <laughs> Starting now. All right. Let's see. Number four. Well. see what's going on here today my first guest is having a little trouble here we go let's try to send this again welcome 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 guys how are you doing tonight so we're gonna have like I said we're gonna have a short quick show from seven until eight and then we're going to have the main show at eight o'clock all right so we're just waiting for our guests to come back in she was here a second ago i think she touched a button that made things go a little bit awry <laughs> all right so you're back in florida so how long are you going to be back in florida for that is the question all right, we're going to hear this intro one more time and then we're going to come back and I'm going to start telling you about the event that our guest is here to talk about. All right, hope you're having a good evening so far. Welcome to Lauder Hill TV. We're just doing some preliminary shows before we do our grand launch. This is called the pre-launch. We're just getting sort of revved up. You know, we're just getting started with what we have. The Melissa Jane show is being converted to the Lord of Hill TV show. And then it's going to grow on top of that. So we've got some good things ahead for the uh, the concept of Lord of Hill TV. 
and we're taking ideas, we're taking suggestions, we're taking ideas and suggestions from the audience and we're going to build this thing together, all right? So you can be a part of it, you can be a part of it. Actually, I was talking to somebody today who had some really good ideas about what to do with Lord of Hill TV. So we're waiting for our guests to come back in and, and then we're going to get started. Happy June. Today's the 1st of June. Okay, here she comes and we're ready to go. We're ready to go. All right. <laughs> we're ready to go. She's back and we're going to get started right about now. All right. Again, welcome to Lord Hill TV. Today we're going to be talking with Elizabeth Burns, who is going to tell us about the Caribbean Cultural Heritage um, Month and what she is doing in our community to really push that, that concept forward. So without further ado, let me bring up our guest tonight. Good evening, Miss Elizabeth Burns. How are you doing tonight? Good evening, Melissa. I'm doing great. Thank you for having me on your show today. Absolutely. It's, it's good to have you. Hiccups here and there. <laughs> Nobody <laughs> would know the wiser. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> we, you, you come on with such grace and beauty. So I'm thank you for, ha for thank you for being here. Thank so you. let's get right into the, the topic for tonight. We we'd like to I'd like you to introduce yourself first of all, and then we're going to start talking about the um, the program. So who, who is Elizabeth Burns? Elizabeth Burns is an event planner for many, many, many years. I won't say how long. <laughs> I'm my age. Um, we have hosted many events over the years. Um, one of the, a couple of events really showcases around Caribbean American Heritage Month. And of course, the listeners may know that President Bush signed into office that June is Caribbean American Heritage Month. That's one of the really good things he has done for the Caribbean community. Oh. And I was doing a festival, um, exhibition and festival at that time. And eventually I decided, you know, it's Caribbean Heritage Month. I'm not hearing too much about it. So why don't I do my event in Caribbean American Heritage Month to, to, to showcase our culture, heritage, and, and the beautiful people that we have there. Okay. Uh, et cetera, et cetera. So um, I'm an event planner, back, back up, and we, do plan various events, weddings, parties, corporate mm -hmm. events. And so for the community, we do the awards program, the festival, and this gorgeous magazine. Beautiful. Wow. It's last year's magazine. Okay. Okay. So since 2010, we're hosting the exhibition and festival and print, you know, producing a magazine, which is an online publication, as well as you know, hard copy. Mm -hmm. This is distributed at the any event that we produce. Mm -hmm. The magazine is presented there as well to mm. to feature the folks who are advertising in it, mm. and and to give a bird's eye view of the Caribbean, the culture, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, since 2015, we started the um, unique CAM and Culture Awards. Mm -hmm. It's a very formal, beautiful, fabulous event. And we have various honorees. Let me see if I can do it now. Yeah. Um, these folks are all nominated. I don't choose them. Okay. So I decided I know too many people yeah. to really get my hands on that. And, you know, they're going to talk about favoritism. So to avoid that, I said, let them be nominated. All right. All right. So how long have you been doing the... Um, the awards show is that from 2015 did you say yes 2015, 2015. Was when we started the awards program and the first year we attached it to the exhibition festival however uh -huh. people were just going really crazy about it they said, oh why don't you make it its own event so yes we did ah. and so um i'm attracting people from different cultures you know the caribbean has 29 countries uh -huh. Most of them, we don't really hear about them. And my goal is to have people from each of the different country over the period of time. We can have one or two, whatever. Um, this is just to show you that in our in this magazine, we feature 
people all, from all the, over the world. All the countries. Oh, okay. And so this is what we're doing. So um, because they're nominated, it's a little bit easier for me to, mm -hmm. to decide what to do because former honorees are nominated. Got so you. They've already been vetted. They know the folks. Yes. You can yes. tell me firsthand what they've done for a community, um, what they've done for the for children, families, whether it's health, medical, whatever it is. Uh -huh. As long as they give back to the community, that is um, a, a big plus for me. Giving back is not all about me, me, me. It's about them. Yeah. All right. So let's let me just uh, welcome a couple of more people that just joined. Welcome to mm -hmm. Selena. Welcome to Debbie Banner. Uh, good to have you here tonight, Debbie Banner. And welcome to Sharon Wiles. Good to have you with, with us tonight as well. Now, I would love you to just talk about a couple of the people that have been nominated uh, this year. Um, uh, because this is we're trying to focus on Lord of Hill now. Lord of Hill TV, this the channel that I'm that I'm uh, developing here. We're converting mm. it from the Melissa Jane Show to Lord of Hill TV. So we want to really, really focus on the Lord of Hill people. And I do believe there are at least two people that are on that lineup of awardees that are from Lord of Hill, or at least that represent Lord of Hill. So let's talk about. The first one who is towards the top of that page somewhere, who is who is a, a representative of Lauder Hill. Who is that? Well, we have Debbie Banner, but she yeah. is. Okay. Let's let's Let let's me... start let's start with the the, the person who is towards the top of the page. <laughs> okay, um, Denise Grant. Denise, yes, Denise Commissioner Grant. Denise Grant. Okay, but on on a for our event, we have people with Caribbean roots. Yes, and some with with no caribbean roots okay? exactly and then we also have a lifetime achievement award person on everybody as a company entity whatever you know it mm -hmm. is but um denise is from jamaica yes and uh, she's commissioner of lord hill and over the years we have um, we have awarded several different people from lord hill including mayor um uh oh my thurston ken thurston yeah. uh-huh Ray Ray um, Ray Martin Ray Martin last year and then yes. the this year, so she's one of them. Now the Friends of the Caribbean Award. So let's just let's just uh, stay stay here for just a second. So mm -hmm. I'm going to throw up a picture of um our lovely Denise Grant, Commissioner Denise Grant of of Lauder Hill. She has been nominated, and if, if you could, if you don't mind, just give us one or two things that really in really um you believe she was nominated for okay with denise i've known her for many years mm -hmm. before she became commissioner and um when we spoke about it ray and i ray martin and i mm -hmm. we discussed the fact that she has done a lot for lord hill she's a people person very smart very sensible and she reaches out to the community she gives back to the community. And so that's one of the primary things that we, we found very interesting about her. And it's not about the fact that she's a commissioner. Okay. okay. Of course, people vote for you to be a commissioner. But the things that you do to give back includes your community. Mm -hmm. So okay. that's primarily what it is. All right. All right. So let's talk about our lovely Debbie Banner, who is also in the in the chat room. She also mentioned that Ray Martin had gotten the award. Let's let's look at Debbie Banner as well. Why now? It's obvious. I mean, I know Debbie Banner very very well, <laughs> but why do you believe that she uh, has been nominated as well for this award? Okay, Debbie is a really sweet, really really nice person. Sweetheart, I've known her for many years. We got um, a little closer in the last couple of months, like we're sisters, really. Mm. Uh, you know, it, it's really nice to meet her, talk to her. We get along really well, mm -hmm. heart to heart talk. Yes. Um, Debbie was nominated, and although she doesn't have to be nominated because I can choose the Friends of the Caribbean. Ah, mm -hmm. yeah? interesting. It's, it's not that close to home, so to speak. Mm. Debbie, a former police officer, mm -hmm. I met her 
some years ago while she was an officer. Okay. But I noticed that she has um, helped a lot of people in different areas. And they don't have to be in Lauderhill. Mm, yes. She has helped with different organizations, with different um, activities that they do. She helps out at the Jewish um, church mm -hmm. and other people to the Jewish school, actually. And um, she jumped on board when I told her she was being nominated. And she said, oh, yes, 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 you know, she was mm -hmm. very excited. And she's really been helping. Right, right. She get advertisers. She helps to sell some tickets. She talks right. about the event. She's okay. proud. She, she's excited to mm -hmm. be a part of this event. All right. So let's get into then when and where and what the event, you know, where where people can, you know, get the information for the event. It's called the Caribbean American Heritage Month. Uh, and it's going to be, what date is it? Actually, it's the Unique Cam and Culture Awards. Okay. Unique Cam and Culture Awards. Oh, yes. Yes. I see that unique at the top here. Because that's my company's Unique Creations by Liz. Got you. And CAM is the Carib it's the acronym for Caribbean American Heritage Month. Month, right. Culture, of course, speaks for itself. Mm -hmm. um, and celebrating Caribbean American Heritage Month. Okay. Which is just to make sure that people know that this event only occurs in June. And today right. being the kickoff, the first day of June, this is fitting for me to be on your program. Absolutely. The, the, the first day of Caribbean Heritage Month exactly. and you're here. And so the, 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 t tell us about the date and the okay. time. Okay. It's on Sunday, June 25th. It's going to be at the Signature Grand in Davie. Mm -hmm. You can turn it around. And um, of course, they can get the information from online. Get the web at the Cam, website. CamUSA.com. Mm -hmm. -A CAHMUSA.com. It's on the other page. Yes, um, C-A-H-M-U-S-A.com yes. is right. the website. That website was created to give more information about Caribbean Heritage Month. Because a lot of people, when I started, didn't know what Caribbean American Heritage Month was. Mm -hmm. and so when we started, it, people were saying, what is that? This They're, is the website. Beautiful yeah. website. Yeah. All the, I love the, color. The, yes. Yes. <laughs> The Caribbean, so it, so um, Sharon Wiles was just asking, I'm what is what Sharon. award is this, Melissa? This is the Caribbean American Heritage Month. Go to the website to get all the information, C-A-H-M-U-S-A.com. And the information is there, written out nicely. You have the flyers. You have the link to, to purchase the, the ticket. Okay. You have all the information out here on the website. Do you want to expand on anything regarding the website? Um, the website really um, speaks for itself. We also have the magazines. Scroll down a little bit. Mm -hmm. we, we keep what? three years magazine. No, you were in the right spot. Right here, right here. Right. So if they go on the site, they can click on the magazine cover mm -hmm. and they see what's in the magazine. So I don't have to mm -hmm. save the magazine out, but I do at the mm -hmm. event and certain other places. Mm -hmm. But for three years, if somebody advertises in the magazine, the ad is in that link in that magazine for three years. For three years. That's awesome. So it's a lot of exposure and nobody pays for that. The paper Please, please repeat the website. Just give me one second. I'm going to just put this website in the chat room so that you guys can see it and go there and share it as well to your platforms. We would definitely appreciate that. C A H M. C A. Sorry. C A H M. USA.com. Dot com. Right. And of course, they can call me. Um, those magazines stay there for three years. Mm -hmm. When 2023 is produced, the oldest one falls off. Gotcha. So there's always three magazines there at any given time. Beautiful. Additionally, we create a link that can be sent to anyone, any part of the world. Okay, beautiful. Certain link, and it, it's a full, full um, magazine on that All link. Right. All right. So there you have that, Sharon Wiles. It's there. Um, so all the information is found on the website. You can't go too far, and and the website's very short and short and concise. C A 
hmusa.com mm -hmm. and um there you have it so miss El miss elizabeth now oh, i know that uh -huh. go ahead go ahead no you go ahead and we also have, have entertainment yes tell us about the entertainment tell us what okay. what people to, would expect <laughs> well we start off with a um, uh, welcome rampant of course that puts the folks in the mood <laughs> it's not strong it's very light you know we have to be mindful of people driving and stuff sure um they'll have some appetizers and of course we go into the formalities dinner um and awards presentation and dancing after um the ebony dj is going to be supporting us this year they did oh. last year they did a fine job okay and um uh, tropical vibes steel pan all He's right. been with me for many, many, many years. Wow. And, and he never put it lets me down. Um, the other person is a one man band. His name is Wayne Armand. Oh, Wayne Armand from yeah. um, from Chalice. the band. From Chalice. Chalice, yes, Chalice. yes. He was back in Jamaica, I met him and you know, we're all here now. Uh, this is a melting pot for the Caribbean Islands. Right. And so um, he's coming on board. He's already on board. Okay. He's going to play the gu um, guitar and one man show kind of thing. Okay, good. So, and of course, dancing. So, yes. It, it's a nice evening after the awardees have gotten their awards. Then we just chit, sit yeah. back and. Oh, it's an opportunity relax. to get dressed up and to come out and to, you know, meet with your friends and, and have a real nice time, right? And Signature Grand is a beautiful place. Oh, yes, yeah, Signature so, Grand. So, one service of the best. Is great service is very, very good. Yes, yes. I've used them since 2010, actually. Oh, okay. for different activities. Sometimes I move to another location just for change, you know? Yeah. Uh, different variety. But uh, other than that, I have no problem with Signature Grand. I like them. Yeah. They like me. And awesome. It, 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 it's such it a works. great. <laughs> They do a great um, fanfare for dinner. Oh, yes, they do. It's it's a beautiful place. Um, yeah. Yeah. All right. So let me just give a big shout out to Dr. Regina Robertson. Uh, good evening to you, Melissa, and, and guests tonight. Um, I, I know that you, you, you're you very big in the community and you, you you actually picked up a maybe a recognition or an award just recently over at the the uh, Caribbean uh, Museum at in Broward uh at uh, what's it called island space island space you were you were there recently picking up an award or do you remember are you hearing me are you are you are you hearing me elizabeth uh elizabeth oh me yes are, are you are you hearing did you did you pick up an, an, an award at uh caribbean no oh i thought i saw you at uh the um the car what's it called the caribbean museum over in broward in the broward oh Mall. oh i went there i usually support them yeah i usually I thought... support when they have the events i oh, go right. and, you know show my face and stuff okay um i didn't get an award not yet anyways oh, oh, <laughs> i'm but speaking i'm speaking into, speaking into existence, existence. Right, right. <laughs> all right but and, you um, but you're, you're very big in the community and we really appreciate you for that thank you, thank you. <laughs> Another person, another entity that I'd like to share is the Lifetime Achievement Award goes to to Grace. Oh, yes. With Canada Limited. They've been around for 100 years. Oh, okay. I felt it was fitting. I have a good association with them. Good All right. And they're um, being awarded with the Lifetime Achievement Award. All so right. The Lifetime Achievement Award can go to anyone. And mm. whether they're caribbean american jamaican doesn't matter mm -hmm, mm -hmm. it's, it's a, a, an entity that has done tremendous work for their community and get, really gives back and mm -hmm. i can vouch for grace that they have done a fine job mm, supporting um, the, the, regard, the, supporting the community you that's know? right so, so again this event is on june 25th go out and get your tickets it's at the Sign signature grand it's a grand affair Six o'clock starting at it's at uh, six nine zero zero State Road eighty four in Davie, Florida. Everybody knows about this place. Complimentary parking. The information, the phone number to contact is nine five four two nine two sixty eight forty eight nine five four two nine two sixty eight forty eight. And the website again, it's dropped in the chat already. It is C A 
hmusa.com. Very straightforward. Go there. All the information is there on the website. You can see it all here. And um, again, Elizabeth Burns, I thank you so much for being here tonight. One second. I just like to share something else. Once, once, one out. second there, Elizabeth. Mm -hmm. um, Paula Scott is here. Um, hi, MJ. I've been out. I've been to one of her events, invited as a special guest of Howard Burgers, amazing production. Wonderful, wonderful. What would Thank you like you. to say for your final okay. words? For the first time, um, Visit Lauderdale has come on board to participate in the ninth annual Unique Cameron Culture Awards. This is a, a great milestone for us because wow. they're very selective of the companies and the, the in, uh, events that they um, participate in. Mm -hmm. In fact, one of their um, twins from Trinidad, uh, Nikki Mohan from Trinidad, mm -hmm. yeah. is being honored too. Mm -hmm. Only Trinidadian. The only <laughs> Trinidadian. <laughs> well, that's so, good. Uh, I'm pleased um, that that they have come on board to participate in this event, and of course, the red carpet arrival. You know. Mm -hmm. You so, like so a king and queen when you walk on the carpet, you know. Yes, really beautiful. Paula, Paula Scott was asking, "Who are the awardees again?" This um, flyer is not very good, blown up. You can see some of the. You might be able to recognize some of the faces, but um, the names are not all very. I can, call, I can give the names. Clear. Read all the names out very, very quickly. Okay, Marie Carmen. Mm -hmm. She's from Cuba. Um, Rose Michelle Grandpierre. She's um. From Haiti, Richard Charlemagne is Haitian. Uh, Mar Maria Jacoba, she's from Dominican Republic. Daphne, former Senator Daphne Campbell, she is um, Haitian. Of course, our Commissioner Denise Grant. Nikki Mohan, she is, um, oh, Denise Grant is Jamaican. Nikki Mohan is from Trinidad. Robert Vaughn, Jamaican. Nazarena Hauser, she is from Nicaragua. And incidentally, Nicaragua uh, became a member of CARICOM. Nicaragua is not in the Caribbean islands, but they became a member of CARICOM. And my goal is to spread my wings and, mm -hmm. and you know. Um, All right, we gotta, wrap it up. we gotta wrap it up soon. Okay. And Princeton John Claude. All right. Um, she's Haitian. Chevron Jones, Senator Chevron Jones, Debbie Banner, and Willis Eubanks. Of course, and Grace, um, Grace, Grace Kennedy Limited. All oh, right. And well, there's the, Elizabeth Burns not being awarded. That's, the, that's you. That's you. I'll All enjoy right. Awarding them again. We thank you so much, Elizabeth Burns. It's going to be a fabulous event, guys. Go out and get your tickets. The link down there is in the website, in the chat again. And uh, Elizabeth Burns, thank you so much for your time. Okay, thank you, dear? and I hope to be back on the air with you. <laughs> Absolutely. We'll definitely thank make you it guys. happen. Thank you All right. Listening. Take care for now. Bye-bye. All right, guys. Um, this is the first part of the show. We are, we, we are going to be doing a second show, and we're going to be coming back with a different link. All right, guys? So check your, um, check your link. Check the links in the WhatsApp uh, message that I sent. It's a separate, different link for the second part of the show, which we're going to be talking about all the different events that are coming up in the month of June. And we're going to have a couple of people call it in. So we're going to break right now. I'm going to close this off. And we're going to come back with the other link, all right? The other link in the WhatsApp group. If you can't find it, just send me a direct message and I will give it to you. I will see you in a little bit. All right. Bye for now.